All right, here we're dealing with a uh, classic hallucination. Um, I've got a, a query that has basically three separate queries built in. Um, and so what's happening is um, down here, do I need to use a tool, right? So the tool is a Llama index query engine and uh, he should be using the tool. I mean, when I say he, I mean the AI, right? Uh, but instead it just comes up with its own answer that is all completely wrong. So I've got two problems. Problem number one is uh, making sure that it uses the tool um, in this instance. Uh, and then problem number two is, well, if it does use the tool, how do I ensure that it um, is able to answer, you know, these three, this three in one query. So um, I'm looking at the multi-step query engine uh, under the Llama index. And I'm thinking I'm going to give this a try and see if this solves problem number two. And then uh, do a little more prompt engineering to ensure that um, our AI uses the tool instead of just doing it itself. Um, also considering just using the the chat engine uh, with Llama index as opposed to uh, the current my current setup. But anyway, um, yeah, try this out and see what happens. All right, so we're back um, and now I've ask the same question again how do I get a refund upgrade to a business license and install a plugin and this time it uses the tool um, and this is the input refund upgrade plugin installation on Chromebook and then the the observation is based on past tickets it's possible to get a refund for a plugin per it is possible to get a refund um, you can also upgrade your purchase by paying the difference. Additionally, a promo code can be provided to apply a discount on another plugin purchase. So that's true. Um, so it's not hallucinating any of that. Um, however, it didn't answer the, the final part about the plugin. So what about installing the plugin? Um, and I'm also now, uh, curious to um, if my multi-step query engine is actually working because uh, I would expect it to um, instead of inputting all of this at once it would I'm expecting it to ask about the refund then go back and ask about the upgrade and then go back and ask about the plugin installation so um, let's figure that out um, it did it did fo the follow up was good though right so what about installing the plugin and then here it is uh and this video is a a real video um of mine so it's not hallucinating there yep right, that's me um so yeah so let's figure that out um i'm not sure how yet but we'll find out all right, so I uh, I used um, Chat GPT Playground in Playground mode here to do a little troubleshooting, and um, I, I'm not sure how much troubleshooting I did because all all it said to me is apologies for the confusion, apologies for the confusion. So I figured it out. Anyway, um, so same question, right? Threefold. Uh, how do I get a refund, upgrade, and some install? And you can see here, uh, uses the tool, and it inputs all of that. Um, and it says, we have an opportunity to answer some or all of the question from a knowledge source. Context information for the knowledge source is provided below, as well as previous reasoning steps. Given the context and previous reasoning, return a question that can be answered from the context. This question can be the same as the original question or blah, blah, blah. So this is the whole, uh, I guess, inner 
inner prompt for the, the multi-step thing. So there's some examples here um, that to help, you know, with the whole reasoning thing. Uh, so the example is how many Grand Slam titles does the winner of the 2020 Australian Open have? And then it um, basically models the, the kind of reasoning that should happen. Um, and then here's my question. Um, uh, knowledge source context used to answer customer support questions. Previous reasoning, none. So new question, it's the same question. Go through this again. Um, then it comes up with an... So it, I think it gets an answer here on the refund thing. Um, to get a refund or upgrade, you can contact support with your order number and request it. However, since you're using a Chromebook, installing a plugin might not be possible as it depends on the compatibility. So this part is not true. Um, it's best to check the plugins. Okay, so this part, it's kind of uh, hallucinating on. Um, and so the question that it comes up based off of that is pretty useless. So the new question it comes up with is, is there a specific plugin that is compatible with Chromebooks? And that's just, hold on a second, guy. And that's just not a, um, that's not the direction we want to go. So the outcome is half useful and then half not useful. So I think um, there's a couple of things. One, taking a closer look at the example reasoning here and maybe tweaking it a little bit. Um, and then also, this this isn't the best uh, or this isn't the, the most specific query. So if I instead I said... Um, how do I get it to, to in, install? Um, let's say I'll just give it a plugin name. Install the sidebar plugin, for example. So I'm going to say, okay, so, <laughs> and we can take a look at uh, the reasoning in real time. Yes, we're going to go to the beach. All right, so here it is. Um, Do I need to use a tool? Yes. Uh, all right. So the new query after it figures out the whole refund part. Oh, it gets it's better um, to request a refund or upgrade for a sidebar plugin. You can email the support team. Um, if you're looking to upgrade, use the promo code upgrade. That is accurate. Um, you get a 50% discount. And then, uh, let's see, where's the follow-up question? Uh, ah, the install. Yes, it got it right. All right, so final answer to, so question, how do I get a refund answer? To get a refund or upgrade, for a sidebar plugin, you can email support team, uh, use the promo code upgrade so you only pay the difference. Ah, but it left out the left out the part about the uh, install. Oh, man, and it's here too. All of this right here. Um, so there's no new query. Had everything it needed there. So I'm guessing that there's some aspect of the the prompt that made it just simplify to the simplify the answer instead of giving a more verbose answer. So um partly there I guess. Uh and I mean I just had to come up with a slightly better or query um but I think the next step is to uh you know test this with a with an actual query not not a made up one. Uh, but that said, the multi-step query engine has proved to be uh to be useful here. So um yeah, definitely check that out if you are doing something with llama index. And then the follow up, I think I'm probably going to 
take a second look at the chat engine here, even though, um, yeah, probably take a look at the, the chat engine in, in react mode. Cause that's pretty much, um, what I have going on now. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment or a question if you have one and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.